Five. Tonight, a large group of people street racing over the weekend left seven people hurt by gunshots. And tonight we have new video showing what happened when those bullets flew and how large the crowd was before police broke it up. Our Abby Dodge is live tonight with what she's learned. Yeah, Abby, pretty dramatic video. Ellen, we are right off Eastwood Traffic Way. Police say that this entire parking lot was packed full of over 100 cars this weekend. But when they drove off, that's when things got violent. You can literally see how much activity there was. The owner of Handy Coin Laundry showed us this video. In a matter of minutes, his parking lot went from a few cars to completely packed. I was back behind the counter and I heard sirens and a lot of lights. Red, red and blue lights reflecting in, the, of course, caught my attention. Police quickly cleared out the large crowd around 930. They can't go up here, so people are going around this way, and it, it was a mess. After the crowd dispersed, uh, they all went their different directions, and that's when we started getting shooting calls. Police estimate around 1,000 people and hundreds of cars left Eastwood Traffic Way and spread out across the city. One of the racers gathering spots was here at Coal Mine Road in Manchester. The speed limit on this road is 35 miles per hour. These skid marks over here show that drivers this weekend were going well above that. Kansas City Police says that street racing isn't anything new. Here's a video posted just last week. Kansas City Police says while street racing is dangerous, they're more focused on the violence surrounding it. A viewer sent us this video, a person shooting up in the air with a large crowd right next to them. KCPD says most people don't associate street racing with violence. These are big groups of people that are doing very, very violent acts at the end of it, and it, it's probably not what some people have in their head. Seven people were shot in three different locations Saturday night into Sunday morning. Here's a video a viewer sent us of bullet casings and blood left behind. Police say all of the shootings were linked to street racing. KCPD says it arrested one driver who officers shot, saw fire a weapon, but they are still investigating all of the shootings from this weekend. If anyone has any information on who these drivers are or even the cars that they were driving, you're asked to call the tips hotline. In Kansas City, Abby Dodge, KCTV5 News.